So this is Cameron Lake Trestle number two, which is right next to Cameron Lake Trestle number one. And this is the one at the west side that has really bad ties or no ties at all. So let's cross it. Normally I just look for the spot where the stringers are. Which is the big beams that run the length of the trestle. Back in June, on an evening I was here, and I saw a cougar through the bushes there. That was my cue that my evening of photography was over. Here's a fun spot, so I just take a nice long step to the next one. Oh yeah, good times. Let's jump it. Uh, but maybe not this part. This is my foot. I don't like that one. I don't like that one either. And I don't like the one on the other side, so I go and I walk over top of the stringers again. Imagine doing this with snowfall. <laughs> Trestles are fun. That's it for me for trestles for today. Well, except for the Little Qualicum River, the Little Trestle on that one. It's actually a, uh, I think it's a deck plate girder bridge. And that's in about 15 minutes. The little bridge over the Little Qualicum River is maybe the forgotten crossing near Cameron Lake. It's so simple. For a lot of people, it's right beside where they park, which is true for me. It's really pretty. It's one span. I think it's a deck plate girder. Or it's a wood beam. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And it's right by the highway.
interesting things about this parking area up ahead is not that there's trains running but eventually there will be speeders running for um, the East End Track Gang work crew and if someone parks their truck or car too close then that's going to be a problem. People aren't really used to thinking about leaving space. That's it. I could continue for 100 meters and see McBay Creek, but I'm too tired.